students, now that we have learned how to make some user-defined functions, I'm going to show you how to display the results of our computations to a user. So um, we're going to go back to this function we talked about in a previous video. This takes in, um, this is a function that takes in an input of a temperature in Celsius. Um, I modified this to produce two outputs. The outputs are temperature in Fahrenheit and the location. And for this particular function, I'm hard coding a string um, with San Diego for the location. And then that is going to be output in my main function. This is where I call my function that does the conversion. I'm passing in temp in C, which I stored the value of 25 in. Um, this is the name of my function, convert C to F. And then this function is going to produce two outputs, and I catch them in this array of variables here that has temp in F and city. So um, when I run this code, I'm going to just select it and paste it into here. Now I have that temp in F has the converted Fahrenheit value 77, and then city has the value San Diego. So now what I like to do is I want to create a sentence for my user. So um, a sentence, believe it or not, is actually an array of strings. And string you can think of kind of like a word or a sentence or something like that. So, um, so what we want to do is we want to make um, a list of strings that are kind of concatenated together that's going to produce the sentence that we want to report to the user. So um, in order to do that, I'm going to, I'll just call this like um, my sentence. And um, to make an array of strings, this is going to be a list. So I'm going to open it, open it a uh, square bracket. And I want to say the temperature in, I want to say San Diego, but I don't want to actually put in the word San Diego because I want to use the value that's stored in city because I want to be able to use my function eventually to report to me the temperature in any city. So if I keep this generic, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to close my string. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to append onto the end of this the string that's stored in the variable city. So I just write city. So these are separated by white space. So what this is going to do is going to take this string, the temperature in, and then I have a little space here. It's going to take the string that's stored in my variable city and just append that on to the end. Okay, now I can um, just test this kind of as an intermediary step to make sure this works the way I expect it to. And the sentence has stored in it the temperature in San Diego. So I didn't actually type out San Diego. San Diego was a string that was stored in city. So now I want to continue here. So I'm going to press up a couple times. And um, I don't want to stop there. I want to also say um, space is. And then after that, I want to put in um, the value that's stored in temp in F. So I want to put in that 77 degrees. But here's the thing. Um, temp in F, if you go over here and look at the workspace, the type of it is double. So this is a numerical value. Sometimes this might be um, a decimal. It might end up as, you know, 77.6 or something like that. Anyway, I want to convert um, temp in F to um, not a number 77, but a string 77. So I can use a simple built-in function in MATLAB, and um, it's called num to string. So here's what we do. So I'm going to take um, temp, I'm going to create a new variable, I'll call it temp f string, like this. And I'm going to use this built-in function num to str, so that's short for string. And I'm going to pass as an input to num to string my temp in f variable. Okay, so I know that the number 77 is stored in temp and f. Num to string is going to convert that into 77 the string. So now I can put this into my sentence. So if I go I press up a couple times, here's my sentence um, assignment. So now after I say is, the temperature in city is, now I can actually put in temp f string 
and then I'll go ahead and after that I'll put in a period and now I can close my square bracket and this is a sentence that I created this is an array of strings the temperature in San Diego is 77 where San Diego and 77 are values that were stored in my variables so now what I can do is I can just say use a display function so disp and then I pass in my sentence and this is going to display to the user um, the sentence that I wanted to report um, and so this is how to create um, a sentence and embed into it the variable value. So remember you can use that num to string to convert any numerical values to a string and then you just basically concatenate all these strings together into this array or this list enclosed by square brackets and then you can display it to your user. So um, now that I know that this is working the way I want it to, I'm going to copy this line of code I'm going to paste it into my main function so there's where I create my sentence and then I'm going to display sentence in here so I'll save that and now what I can do is I can run my main function and that's going to um, create this variable temp and C put in a value of 25 convert that 25 into Fahrenheit with my convert C to F function, grab those um, outputs, and then create a sentence that's reported to the user using the display function. So just some basic input output for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.